Okay, so how does the number of bonds affect the strength and length of the bonds? That seems kind of confusing, so let me try and explain. So I put my one little zombie that I found under the bed in here, and now he's safe. And I've shrunk myself down to try and explain this to you. Okay, the heavy is pointing at methanoic acid. Methanoic acid has a carbon-oxygen single bond, just there, and that's longer and weaker than the carbon-oxygen double bond, which is shorter and stronger. The bond energy for the single bond is lower than the bond energy for the double bond. Oh, I never saw that hole there before. I wonder what's in there. Oh, attention. Don't go for that gun. Oh, he's going for it. I'm going to get out of here. They look pretty dangerous. I'm going to jump onto the bed. Whee! Oh. Okay, the uh, red is the carbon-carbon single bond. And you can see in green it's the carbon-carbon double bond. And then finally the carbon-carbon triple bond. So obviously, the single bond is a lot longer than the others. The single bond is 154 picometers long. The triple bond is a lot shorter. But the single bond is weaker. It has a lower bond energy, 347 kilojoules per mole. So the single bond is the weakest. The triple is the strongest. Well, this is like Indiana Jones. Alrighty, I think if I throw those bonds onto the floor, I'll be able to look at them more closely. So let me just do that. The long single, the short triple. Oh, I forgot about Dr. Atkinson. Oh, he landed on the soft carpet. Oh, I don't think that's going to help him, though. There are monsters under my bed. Right, by the power of Avogadro, I'm going to jump down and save him. Peek around the molecules. Oh, they're all gone. They're all being killed. Run away! 